Welcome to the Open Group Open Footprint Forum Global Event. My name is Heidi Carlson, and I am the director of the Open Footprint Forum. Together uh, with Johan Krebers, who will be joining us shortly, um, we will be covering uh, in our presentation today, what is the Open Footprint Forum about? What are the objectives? And what we will be delivering? Johan Krebers' uh, background is uh, he is the GM of Digital Emerging Technologies and VP of IT Innovation at Shell. He is also the co-chair of OFP. As I mentioned, these are the topics that we will be reviewing today. And just uh, to review uh, briefly about HSSE and the open group rules, the commitment to HSSE is very important, as you know, for health, safety, environment, and uh, security. And just as an example, if we could just be, you know, conscious of as the world uh, slowly opens up after this pandemic, that we're still mindful of all those out there who may be struggling or may be in a different situation and uh, just be mindful of the others uh, that may need help and also just be um, aware for yourself and um, to stay safe, healthy, and so that we can um, all move forward in a uh, positive manner. Because this is a open group meeting, I just want to stress that um, please be cognizant of anything that uh, is confidential. So please, 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 during this meeting and sessions for the next two days, that uh, do not share anything that's confidential or proprietary information for any of the organizations. Uh, do not, you know, share uh, prices or products or services uh, about the organization anything regarding purchasing plans for particular goods or services and or anything about specific mergers or divestment plans development plans inventories cost of organizations thank you and so everyone just looking at today's uh, agenda what we're going to be covering in day one is the ofp initiatives the data uh, platform we're going to hear from WBCSD. We're going to provide an overview of the GHG and reporting, the reference architecture, the OFP strategy, and developments in the market of GHG and related activities. In day two, we will be covering um, the recap of day one and developments in the market of GHG and related activities again, IBM's plans for OFP along with AWS plans for OFP, calculations, opportunities for new and existing members, a demo and a preview of the platform, and what is expected by various industries and how to get it used in the various industries. And then in closing, we will provide some follow-up actions. Just in general, as John had mentioned, at the end of each ses session, there will be five minutes for Q&A. And uh, please write your questions in the Q&A box. All sessions will be recorded and to be made available afterwards. So just a little bit about the open group and uh, today's agenda. As I would mentioned, we will be um, have an introduction to the open group, just a very high level overview, uh, some background talking about what is the open footprint forum, 
the benefits of the Open Footprint Initiative, we'll review the current members and our active projects, and then provide some useful links. So a little bit about the Open Group, and we are, at the Open Group, we help our members to achieve their business objectives through technology standards and open source software projects. We have over 800 members around the world in various countries and are best known for the standards like Unix and TOGAF. And so moving on to the next slide. In the past 10 years or so, we have done a number of industry initiatives that look at transforming various industries, starting with the FACE initiative, which is the military um, avionics space. And then we moved into the Open Process Automation Forum, OPAF, which also looks at the process automation and process control standards. Then SOSA, the SOSA initiative, which looks at sensors and is developing an open sensor system architecture. And then the open subservice data universe, OSDU, which is developing an energy data platform for the energy sector. And then the initiative that we will be talking about today, the Open Footprint Forum. So, with that, I will turn it over to Johan. Thank you much. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, and uh, maybe good evening. It's Johan Krebbers out of The Hague in the Netherlands. It's nice weather out here even today. Very briefly about Open Footprint because we're going to have uh, two days about it. Um, so what's the Open Footprint all about is really the, the world of greenhouse gases. And of course, the people on the line most likely will know about, will know about this world. But what, what we really try to address in the world of greenhouse gases is really looking at um, okay, how, how to define the, what are the data definition standards for this information, what are the access standards for this information, so how do you store the data, so what are the data definition standards. Because in this whole world of greenhouse gases, of course, there are reporting standards from, from SASB, from WF, from WRI, etc. But there are no underpinning standards on what are, the, what are the data definitions and what, how do you access that data? And that's very important, especially to talk about supply chain type environment. In supply chain, where you bring data together, your, your carbon, carbon data from several parties into an, a single environment to really calculate the carbon footprint of a product, it's important you all speak that same language. Today, we do not do that. So it's very hard in this world, and we can spend a lot of time to try align um, carbon, food, carbon, uh, carbon calculations for different companies to try to align into one is very time consuming. And really, we should not spend our money there. We should, we should, we should spend our money, really our, our budget on, okay, how can we exploit the data and how can we exploit the data by using a, a good application on top of it. We should not waste our money okay, just to align the data. So we're trying to do with open footprint and we're going to talk about it in the next two days, see the whole story behind it, is we really align the data definitions of the, of the, of, for scope one, for scope two, and for scope three for a company. So a company will have clear aligned data definitions. And as long as a company is using open footprint, and other companies also using open footprint, the definitions, the access, the way of access will be exactly the same between these companies. So you can start the like, you can start comparing like for like. That is what we're trying to do. We try to deliver that, not just by standard, but also by real implementation, a reference implementation. And you see an early version of that tomorrow afternoon. We have a session of an hour where we give some demos of that of that refs implementation. But our goal is always not to just to use a standard or produce a standard, but also to really the drive a refs implementation with MP1 relative to simple. But we grow that with MP2, minimum value of two, minimum value of three, etc., into a full blown reference implementation. People can use to as their carbon footprint as their Open footprint, sorry, uh, uh, date implementation. That's what we're going to. That's what we try to do. 
we're going to explain in the next two days the whole story behind it, where we're coming from, how we're going to get it made, how we, where we are, where we are today, and what we see for the future, and how does it fit in the overall plan? Because you, we cannot do it in a world of of carbon, in a, in a world of greenhouse gases. It's all about collaboration with lots of other parties. Nobody can do this on their own. It's all about working with the WCSD, with the WWF in our case, with a whole raft of uh, organizations out there. And I was also very pleased today in the program we have a number of these organizations presenting what their stories and how it all fit together. So it's not an open footprint team on its own story. It's a story about back, back, part of a much better framework to come to a solution out there. These are current over the companies, so we're very grateful. Remember, we started this exercise on August the 24th last year. We had an open open group kickoff meeting of the open of, of the open footprint forum on August 24th last year. And these are companies have joined since. And remember, in the case of open group, it's all about the companies, the members who do the work. So there's no miracle out there. The people here, the any company on here, whether it's Capgemini, whether it's PIDX, whether it's Tata, AWS, you name them, all over here, those are the people doing the work to create the stands we're talking about, to create the refs invitation we're talking about. So it's all members, members, members. And if you're a member out here, you, of course, you have the advantages that you really have input on what we're doing. But I always remember the results, the outcome, whenever we have a formal piece of outcome, will be available to everybody. So the members have the, the influence, what, what we do, what our priorities are, how we go about it. But the outcome will be available to everybody, of course. And it's important we always never forget that. And, uh, and Heidi, will, Heidi will clearly come back on, on this one. So let me leave it to here, this uh, Heidi, and then we can hand over to Sammy. Sure, absolutely. So if you do, if there are any questions, um, please uh, reach out to myself and uh, all of this information will uh, be uh, uh, featured throughout the next two days. In addition, we have some wonderful links here that you can also take a look at from our website to um, looking at the current list of members as well as joining us in LinkedIn.